Hey Russell fam, today we are going to be unboxing and demonstrating this Fistler Adamant skillet that was sent to us. Check back in just a minute. All right, Russell fam, we are going to unbox this and look at it. Hey, Russell fam. Bailey is helping me. Hey, Russell fam. And Beck is behind me. Oh, wow, it comes with a book that we're going to have to read and look at. It's got all kinds of instructions in it. It is made in Germany. Thank you. It is made in Germany and on the back it has all kinds of instructions in different languages. Alright, and here is the skillet. It has a curved handle right there. This is a, here's my hand, so you can see how big the skillet is. So we are going to try to do some things and try to cook with it and show you those different things. Hey Russell fam, this Fistler pan was sent to me. It is part of their new Adamant line. Their new Adamant line is unusually tough because of its non-stick sealing with silicone and carbide powder particles that makes it hard like stone. We just cooked some eggs in it. We fried some eggs and we did some scrambled eggs and I took a paper towel and I just wiped it out. And you can see how clean it is. There is nothing stuck on here whatsoever. You can see that it looks like stone right here. This is a big pan. It's got a super awesome handle right here, so you're holding, so this protects you from the heat. And if you turn it over, you look on the bottom, it shows you that it is induction ready, that it'll work on induction cooking. All right, I also wanted to let y'all know that I read the instructions in here, and it is dishwasher safe but I just used soap and water and I just washed it out after I got done cooking and this is what it looks like. All right, I wanted to give you a little better look of the pan or skillet. Here we go. There's the handle. You can see how long it is. And then here's the bottom of it. Shows you that it's made in Germany. And it's made by Fistler. Alright Russell fam, we are going to show you that we are cooking scrambled eggs with our Fizzler pan that we got in the mail. Um, they sent us to review it. So um, I've got some butter in here. I took it out of the box earlier in the video and I have washed it with um, dish soap and water like the instructions told me to. And so now I've got some butter in here. I'm going to warm it up and I'm going to get the scrambled eggs in it. So it'll be back in just a second. Alright, now the butter is getting good and melted. And I'm just getting it all over the pan. Guess who's filming behind the camera? Bailey is being my cameraman today. So now the butter is getting melted. Alright, so we got butter everywhere. So now we're fixing to pour our scrambled eggs in. Let's see if it's hot enough. So how can you tell when it's hot enough when you do it or drip in there? It'll start cooking the eggs a little bit. Oh. Because you pour all of them in there, it'll cool the pan down. We're going to let it heat up just a minute more. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and pour them in. 
And like I said, I have never used this Fistler before. So this is our first time cooking scrambled eggs. Alright, we are stirring them around. So far, so good. Nothing is sticking. Look, she's starting to get eggs stuck to her spatula. That's butter. Uh, that hadn't melted all the way. I, I was hoping that was an egg. Nope. And Russell fam. My mom's scrambled eggs are awesome. Alright, they are starting to cook. This kind of looks like what Waffle House makes their scrambled eggs. How theirs look. They are really starting to cook now. They're sticking to my spatula more than they're sticking to the pan. That's good when they don't stick to the pan, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want a bunch of stuck eggs. Russell Fan, in case you can't tell, I don't cook a whole lot. The only thing I can cook is any kind of sandwich and toast. You're working on it though. You do you grill hamburgers. That's cooking. Oh, and pop tarts. I can stick those in the toaster. <laughs> yes, because you eat those so much. I was fan of the sarcasm. I don't eat them a whole lot. All right, look at them. They are not sticking to the pan. Are they starting to stick a little bit? No, they are not. I'm moving them all over the place. Look. I'm trying to see if they're sticking. That's why I'm, I'm constantly moving them to see if they're going to stick anywhere. Oh, we need to cook some fried eggs later. Yeah, Daddy's going to do fried, fried eggs in just a minute. Can we film that? Yeah. Film that. And look, they are not... Oh, this will make an awesome omelet in here. You got any ham and cheese? <laughs> we'll have to do that another day. Aww. That's family ham and cheese omelets. They are not sticking whatsoever. And I can just pick them up and look, they're not sticking. Now all we need to do is add some salt. That will be perfect. Speaking of salt, you want to go grab some? I've already put salt in them when I scrambled them. Oh! Those are some good looking eggs. All right, so Russell fam, you see that they have not stuck to the pan at all. So we're gonna put these on a plate and then Mike is going to fry us some eggs. Be back in just a second. Okay, Russell fam, we just sprayed some Pam in there. Now my dad is turning on the stove. So, dad, what are you gonna be cooking? Uh, fried eggs. He's gonna be cooking fried eggs. See you when we start. That, that looks good. Ooh, they're starting to lighten.
so far so good. Oh, those do kind of look good. Not sticking. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's cool. I, I can see the reflection of the eggs and the spatula. Russell fam, we'll see you guys when we get done. <laughs> Russell fam, there's a mix up. We're just going to watch the eggs cook. Hey, hey, kind of looks like a smiley face. Is that better than our other cast iron spillet? Skillet. This ain't cast iron. Oh, it's not? Hmm. Those did not stick at all. Well, I'm not the best egg fryer, but I do know a skillet that doesn't stick when I see it. Those are all that is awesome. Yeah. There is no sticking yeah, whatsoever. It, it done well. And you just put a little pam in it and that was it. And the little butter that I had in it left for my eggs, but that wasn't much. All right, so there you go, Russell fam. You see that we have cooked scrambled eggs, we have fried some eggs, and they have not stuck to this Fistler skillet. So I hope you like this video, and thanks to Fistler for sending us this pan. I will leave the link below so you can check them out. Have a great day. Bye.